Hey guys, Boneyard here, just a quick tip. Servicing this still TS500i concrete saw. And uh, I just wanna put this out there for people that actually use these a lot. And uh, a lot of times they get lazy, they don't use the water. So they will cut without the water. The water hose hooks up right there. And then there's an adjustment on how much or how little water you want. To go out to your blade I would suggest you use water because if you don't so you know the concrete dust goes everywhere so to service one of these what I do is uh, of course you know fuel filter spark plug air filter and I take the air hose and blow it all out I will take this cover off blow it all out blow take all the covers that you can off to blow it out to get all the uh, dust. They do put a, pretty sure they put like a plastic housing over top of the head. Uh, I haven't took this one apart yet to see, uh, but I'm pretty sure they do. But this guy, he brings it to me for service and I serviced it probably, I think last fall. And he's a mason, he uses it all the time. But uh, I just want you to look at the air filter. It's clogged right up with concrete dust. So I would suggest if you use these all the time, at least take the filter out after every use and blow it out. And then change it when you think you need it. The filters ain't cheap. Here's the new filter. Comes with the pre-filter. OEM. That's fifty dollars for that filter at my local steel de steel de dealer. So uh, they're not cheap, but the saw isn't cheap either. So I had a couple people bring them to me and wonder why I won't start. Had no compression. They say, "Oh, it's not that old. Only had it a couple of years." I said, "Well, you ever have it serviced?" Well, no, and that's why because the concrete dust gets all up into the cylinder. But anyway, just a quick tip. If you own one of these, you use one of these, or your customer, one of your customers, uh, just run it by them and tell them, you know, at least change that filter or blow it out after every use. I, I wouldn't change it after every use, but I would at least take it out and blow it out if you're going to be using it a lot. So that filter's pretty nasty. So just a quick tip. Okay, guys, that's it. Be safe out there. Boneyard's out.